Hello, Nanoson Explorers. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get a complete overview of whale transactions in a specific time period. And we have a dashboard that we created for this use case. And many of our customers like to investigate wallets and tokens on our platform. So we made a dashboard called Token Movements, which you can find by clicking Dashboards and then looking towards the bottom here, and you see token movements. So I'm going to click token movements and show you how to use this in practice. So let's go on Etherscan and just grab um, some token. So let's say you want to grab uh, DAI. And the reason we go to Etherscan is because we need to grab the token address. And we did it this way because we want to um, be able to use this dashboard with any token, not just the kind of whitelisted tokens that, that we have, but really any token that's been deployed on uh, Ethereum, even within you know the last minutes or hours, it'll be you know ready for you to query right away. So I grab the DAI address and I paste that into the token address field, and I hit enter. So you also have to, in some cases, update decimals because eighteen is the most common number of decimals for tokens, but sometimes they have a custom one. And you can see the number here um, if you want to know how many decimals the token has. So the other two things you want to set are the start date and end date, because we're going to look at the largest transactions for DAI in this case in this time period. So let's do November. So I'm going to start no November 1st and November 25th. And so that uh, gives me two tables right away. The first one is balance changes. This shows what are the largest changes in balance that took place in this time period from November 1st to November 25th. So I'll get into the details in a moment. The other table is this top, uh, top token transactions, which shows the largest individual transactions that took place in that time period. So if we start with the balance changes, you see right away some kind of trends or uh, trends that took place over that time period with DAI. First of all, there was a lot of DAI that went out of this Uniswap DAI wrapped Ether pool. There was also a lot of DAI that went out of the Barnbridge tokens. And I can see this because the change column, which is the change in the time period, is negative in, these, uh, in this case. So Curve, on the other hand, had an inflow. So perhaps a lot of the money went from Uniswap and Barnbridge into Curve. Um, also, a lot of tokens went into SushiSwap. So you can immediately see some trends that took place over this time period. You have the start date balance, which is simply what the, the balance was at the beginning of the time period. You can sort by that if you want, You know, either from, from low to high or high to low. You can also uh, look at the end date balance, which is what it has at the end of that period. Current balance is what it has right now. In, the, in our example, this is the same as today, so it will have the same values in these two columns. And you can see how many days since it first received the token. So that's the balance changes, and it could be you know, an, a, an idea to look into this to see what's changed. I, I noticed here there's also Binance. Um, BSC pegged assets. So, and it went from zero to 19 million. So probably there was a transaction that went into this Binance wallet in that time period. Now, the second part of the dashboard is top token transactions. And here you see, for example, 116 million DAI went from this casual DEX trader address to the Uniswap DAI wrapped Ether pool. And so you can also see when it happened and this was november 14th and it was at 3 36 pm utc all our timestamps are in utc you see that actually these have the same timestamp so perhaps these token transactions took place within the same transaction um, so you can click through on the transaction and it'll open up etherscan where you see the the exact transaction and this was actually a flash loan that took place where 116 million DAI was transacted um, amongst other tokens that were transacted, actually. But you see it's a flash loan here. We've got some cool stuff coming out on flash loans and flash 
swaps soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But in this video, I'm not going to cover that. So 160 million was used uh, by this address to make some um, flash loan and probably some ARB. Um, and just to confirm what I said before, if I click into the other transaction, we see, yeah, it links to the same transaction. So these are actually token transfers that were made in separate separate transactions, uh, sorry, in one transaction, but they're actually separate token transfers. Um, you can also see like uh, 200 million trader, which is this kind of anonymous trader that made a lot of money um, a while back and is quite infamous. Um, they received 31 million DAI from a multi-sig owner address um, and it was sent out to this other address. So you can click through this and see all the largest transactions. Uh, you see some flash loan um, related transactions here as well. And it can be quite interesting to see what's actually been going on in a specific time period. So that's quickly how to use this dashboard. You can input any token here. Just remember to update decimals to the correct, correct thing and then set the start and end date. So that's it. Hopefully that was useful. You can go to dashboards, token movements to find this. If you don't have Nansen or you want to try it out, you can go to nansen.ai and do a seven day trial before you commit to a subscription. Okay, hope that was useful. Thanks very much. Take care.